What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Rays. Thanks to her breakout role as Hannah Baker in the Netflix series 13 Reasons Why and her turn as Meg Thromby in Ryan Johnson's 2019 comedy thriller Knives Out, we all know Katherine Langford. But how much do we know her sister Josephine? Well, keep watching to find out everything about her and her messy relationship with her sister. Sisterhood Josephine Langford, Catherine's younger sister, is about to reach the same popularity as Catherine. Josephine became really popular with her role as Tessa in After and the web series adaptation of the seminal horror movie Wolf Creek. What's interesting is that both stars have been really secretive when it comes to their private life. They are both not fans of social media, so it's always been hard for us to keep track of their lives. However, back in 2019, the sisters were subjects of a sisterly feud. Now, what's the story behind it? Are they even close? Why did they refuse to talk about it for so long? Keep watching to find out. I'm digging this role reversal, by the way. Oh yeah? You got this... Never seen after? When Katherine Langford revealed that she hasn't seen After, the movie her younger sister Josephine stars in, the rumors about their feud just got stronger. According to Just Jared Jr., Katherine talked about not seeing Josephine's breakthrough role as Tessa in After, the movie series based on a Wattpad fanfic. She said she hasn't seen the film because of her busy schedule. Um, let's be honest here. If you have a sibling and your sibling stars in a movie that has enormous popularity, wouldn't you watch it? It's so bad. I have so many films that I need to watch right now and I have a bunch of them on my list, so yeah, I'm going to get to it," she said in an interview. Well, if this is honesty, we really appreciate it. On the other side, Catherine has been really busy these last few years. She appears in Knives Out alongside Chris Evans and she's also a part of a TV series called Cursed. Let's just hope Josephine has an understanding of her sister's busy schedule. This is certainly not a Charlie and Dixie D'Amelio situation, and back when Josephine talked to W Magazine about what it's like to have a sister who works the same job as you, she said that she and her sister just don't talk about their jobs while they're at home. She also said that she doesn't mean to sound arrogant, but both of them, according to her, sort of know what they're doing. Now, After We Fell will be released this October. Let's hope Catherine finds the time to catch up on the third installment. Where'd you start? We should go. The Feud Do you guys remember Maddie and Mackenzie Ziegler? Both sisters appeared alongside each other on Dance Moms, and that was adorable. However, it seems like we're not going to see the Langford sisters working together on a project. They never appeared together anywhere, so that's why most fans have no idea that Josephine is the little sister of Catherine. And just like we previously said, they are not some big fans of social media, and their photos mainly include promotions about their upcoming movies. As we previously said, Josephine revealed she and her sister don't even talk about their jobs at home. Now, it's not like we don't understand privacy, that's super normal. However, according to most fans, there's something else behind this story, and as the rumors suggest, the sisters are not talking at all. They're feuding. Josephine also said that she simply doesn't understand the internet sometimes, and she added the rumors are crazy in an interview with Refinery29 in April 2019 show is stuff that I've seen and that I'm aware of, you know, especially mental illness. Social Media Bond Fans based their theory on the fact Catherine and Josephine don't follow each other on Instagram or have pictures together on the platform. Josephine reassured everyone that doesn't mean a thing. Now we have a question, do you guys follow your sibling on social media? Well, the fact that Catherine and Josephine don't follow each other on Instagram is just a confirmation that something is wrong, according to some fans. However, according to another group of fans and Josephine, this is really not a big deal and doesn't mean anything. No one I know in real life has ever asked me why I follow this person or why I don't follow this person because everyone knows it has absolutely no correlation to people who are important in my life. I don't even check my Instagram feed. It's meaningless, is what I'm trying to say," she said. But most dedicated fans are dying to know the real story behind their relationship. Josephine also explained a situation when a friend of hers had sent her a video and they were laughing at it. The reason? Someone had picked up a little thing she had done in an interview and they found what she did in multiple videos and stitched it together in a compilation, she explained. She's clearly referring to videos with the title, Josephine and Catherine Hate Each Other. In that same interview, Josephine said that she would 100% do a project with Catherine if she had a chance. On Reddit, fans have been talking that all the unnecessary drama between the sisters has to stop. To be more precise, it looks like fans of Josephine are not really fascinated with Catherine. 
One Redditor wrote how he noticed that some Josephine fans seemed to hate Catherine, and this is mostly because of what she had to say about her sister's project. For instance, in the interview which served as a promotion about Catherine's upcoming project Knives Out, the interviewer asked her about Josephine, and now all fans of Josephine hate Catherine for absolutely no reason at all. As the Redditor said, we have no idea what goes on in their family or why they don't really talk about each other in interviews. If they're not close, is it really that big of a deal? Lots of people aren't close with their family members. It's really none of our business because they don't talk about each other. However, we can all agree that both stars seem really humble when it comes to their personality, and we just hope that everything is okay between them and their family. Where are they now? Katherine Langford got really famous for her role in Netflix's 13 Reasons Why, but where is she after the show? We've come across so many articles about Josephine and her upcoming After We Fell film, but articles about Katherine are rare, even though she's been busy working on more than one project. Katherine Langford's role as Hannah Baker in Netflix's hit teen drama 13 Reasons Why was something extraordinary. She practically showed how much she can achieve with her acting talents in this show, and she hasn't stopped working on big projects since. She has since landed the role of another Netflix show, Cursed. 13 Reasons Why provided Catherine with a lot of privilege, and to be honest, every actor in the series has assured a good acting career after their appearance in 13 Reasons. Catherine's character was of course more explored as her suicide and the consequences it had on her classmates were the focus of the first two seasons. Catherine now plays the teenage sorceress Nimue in Cursed, and fans equally love this role of hers. Langford left 13 Reasons Why after season 2 and she starred as Vesna in 2018's The Misguided. However, one of her biggest roles after the show is the one in Love, Simon, which featured Langford as the best friend of closeted Simon, Nick Robinson. Josephine also had a small role in Avengers Endgame, but it was cut from the theatrical version of the film. However, she did star alongside Endgame star Chris Evans later in Knives Out, where she played Meg. When it comes to Josephine, the first after film was her biggest role to date, but what you probably didn't know is that she started acting when she was just 8 years old, and as she said in an interview, she loved how fun it was to make people laugh and bring people joy. It's just such a satisfying feeling, she said in an interview with Teen Vogue. Before after, Josephine appeared in the 2017 horror flick Wish Upon, where she played Joey King's high school bully. We recommend you watch this until you wait for After We Fell, which will hit theaters in October this year. We can't wait, can you? Well, it, it wasn't just my ass. Now, what do you guys think about Catherine and Josephine's relationship? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed our video, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you never miss any of our videos in the future. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.